Using soft drinks as a pesticide has gained attention in recent years, especially in India, where some farmers claim it is a cheaper and more efficient alternative to traditional pesticides. However, the practice is not without controversy, with critics pointing out that there is little scientific evidence to support the idea and that it could have negative impacts on the environment and human health. In this video, we will explore the use of soft drinks as a pesticide in more detail, including the potential benefits and drawbacks, and consider whether it is a viable option for farmers. Before we learn more about coke being used as pesticides, make sure to subscribe so you can stay updated in this age of Asia. Indian farmers have been using soft drinks like Pepsi and Coca-Cola as pesticides for several years, particularly in Chhattisgarh, Durg, Rajnandagav, and Damthari. They claim that the sugar content in these drinks attracts ants, which in turn feed on the larvae of insects that can damage crops. The process is believed to help protect crops from pests without the use of harmful pesticides. It is becoming increasingly popular in India to use soft drinks as pesticides because they are a cheap and readily available option that are as effective as traditional pesticides. Pesticides can cost farmers up to 70 rupees or $1.50 per acre according to some farmers. In contrast, if they mix Pepsi or Coke with water and spray it on their crops, it costs 55 to 60 rupees less per acre. This represents a significant saving for farmers who can use the money to invest in other areas of their business. However, the use of soft drinks as a pesticide is not without controversy. Pepsi and Coca-Cola strongly disagree that their products can be used as pesticides because they say there is nothing in the drinks that can be used as pest control. Soft drink sales have increased dramatically in many villages as a result of using soft drinks instead of pesticides, which are up to 10 times more expensive. The use of soft drinks as pesticides raises concerns about their potential negative impacts on the environment and human health. Some farmers claim that soft drinks are a safe and effective alternative to traditional pesticides, but there is little scientific evidence to support this claim. Soft drinks are not designed for agricultural use, and they may contain harmful chemicals that can have unintended consequences when sprayed on crops. Additionally, the sugar content in these drinks can attract more than ants, and they may also attract other insects and animals that could damage the crops. Furthermore, using soft drinks as a pesticide raises questions about food safety, since residues from these drinks can remain on crops and enter the food chain. Using soft drinks as a pesticide may have negative effects on the environment and human health. When soft drinks are sprayed on crops, they can seep into the soil and affect the microbial balance, possibly harming beneficial organisms like earthworms. Furthermore, ingesting large amounts of residues from soft drinks could potentially cause health problems if they are present on crops consumed by humans. There are alternative methods of pest control available that are safer and more effective than using soft drinks. Natural remedies, such as neem oil and garlic, have been used for centuries in India as a natural pesticide. When used responsibly and in accordance with regulations, approved pesticides can also be effective in controlling pests. Additionally, Integrated Pest Management IPM, is an approach that combines different methods of pest control to manage pests while minimizing the use of pesticides. It involves identifying pests, monitoring their activity, and taking action only when necessary. This approach can be more sustainable and cost-effective in the long run, as it can help to reduce the need for pesticides and minimize the risks associated with their use. The use of soft drinks as pesticides is a controversial topic in India. While some farmers claim that it is a cheap and effective alternative to traditional pesticides, there is little scientific evidence to support this idea. Moreover, the use of soft drinks as a pesticide raises concerns about the potential negative impacts on the environment and human health, as well as food safety. There are alternative methods of pest control available that are safer and more effective than using soft drinks. Therefore, it is important for farmers to consider the potential risks and impacts on the environment and human health before using any non-approved substances on their crops. Continue to keep track of the age of Asia by subscribing to this channel, so we can become a leading channel in telling the growth story of the largest continent on Earth.